do you folks uh, uh, know what permutations are in math? In math, you know, permutation. Like if you have two numbers, one, two. In how many ways can you combine that? One, two, one, two, two, one, 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 two, two. Right? That's called permutation. Right? It's very simple. So music is a lot like permutations. Now, now. Uh, uh, by the way, in order to sing, you don't have to be a professional singer because you say, "Oh my God, I have a bad, bad voice." Well. I don't teach bel canto, which is bel canto is the art of teaching beautiful singing, you know, for opera singers or even pop singers. So singing is not reserved only for great singers. Anybody that has a voice should use it to sing whatever they're they're playing. And great musicians, uh, you probably know this very well. No matter what instrument they play, at a very high level of performance, they sing and they hum. Because when music becomes internalized, that's when, that's when music comes out of whatever you're performing. Okay? Because otherwise we're just pushing buttons and... So, so the course that I'd like to introduce to you, and if you have any questions along uh, what I'm presenting here, please feel free to ask and this way uh, we can find out. What I want to do is a little evaluation. Uh, for example, by a hand, if I would play this, uh, uh, can anybody tell me what interval this is? Nobody, nobody uh, can tell me what kind of... Okay, let's try it again. Uh, how many notes do you hear? Good. So we're going down a little. Very good. So, so how about now? Can you tell me what interval this is? Do you know what intervals are? Yes. Okay, somebody tell me what an interval is. Uh, speak up a little bit. There's no wrong answer, but there is one correct answer. Sounds like a conundrum, but a musical term. Yes, ma'am. Your name, please. Addy. Addy? Hi. It's kind of like the space between which notes. Right. An interval in musical language is the distance between any two notes. That's a distance, that's a distance right? Or... So, so what we're preoccupied here is studying and learning how to use our ear to recognize the distance between notes in real time. So there's a little bit of theory behind it, but I'm going to share with you simple exercises that are used for ages in European music schools, that when you hear this, you know, oh, I know, this is a major chord in root position, close position. This is a major chord in first inversion, close position. And this is a major chord in second inversion, 6-4, open position. Now, uh, the exercises I'm going to describe to you next week, we're going to take it very slow, we're going to work with intervals, that is only two notes combinations. Triads. triads. Who knows what a triad is? Three, very good. Who knows what a seventh chord is? Four notes, yes, yes. So we're discussing everything in the tonal system. You know very well that around the world there are very many different ways of uh, making music and using sound. So we're discussing Western European music in the tonal system that divides the scale in how many notes are in a scale. A little louder, don't be shy, just blurt it out. Eight. 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 One answer. One answer. Next. Well, there. Well, there. That's eight. So it's actually seven plus one because the one doubles as an up. That's one. That's one. Good answer. So seven. But in reality, the scale is divided in how many notes? Twelve. Right. Right. You knew that. You right? knew that, right? They're here. They're here. They're all here. You can count them. Yes. Now. Now. I'd like, I'd like everybody to sing with their own voice the same ninja scale. First of all, who knows what note this is? Anybody knows what note this is? 
Okay. Close. Close. Two semitones semi above, one tone up. So this is a universal method for a uh, classical musician when you go to an orchestra, you, you, you kill, right? You guys steal, right? And what is the best instrument for tuning the orchestra? Who's an oboe here? The reason the oboe is one of the best instruments to tune is because of the harmonics. It's a very simple sound and you hear it. It's very piercing and it has a distinct sound, right? So the first note that we should always recognize, and that's part of the teaching method, is A. Can everybody sing this note? Just common. Just common. If you know where A is, you can find any other note. A is your musical GPS. Because if you know where A is, you know what they do in the band, in mean, the orchestra, Everybody tunes the instrument, and if the piece starts in C major, this is, you know, this is C major, right? So, so I'd like everybody to try to sing the C major scale with, no, with notes, with la la la, just the seven plus one steps. Thank you. 